Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to quieten down our PC by adjusting the fan curves. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at our Zotac Z Box again. Now, at the moment, when I've got it on the desk right next to me, I can definitely hear the fan noise and it is becoming a little bit frustrating. Now the graphics card in there is a NVIDIA 1060 3 gig, so it's not a low powered card, but the fan is constantly spinning, which I don't really think it needs to. And just by putting my phone, which has got a uh, SBL sound level meter in it, with me talking, it's around about 70 decibels. So if we go down to me not saying anything, We're reading about 53 to 55 decibels there, right next to the PC. So if I put it a little bit further away, kind of where I am. It's jumping around all over the place, but it's around 30 decibels, which isn't particularly great. And it is a little bit distracting and over ambient noise in a situation like this one, I'm trying to record a video, it's not the greatest of things. Now you probably can't pick it up because I've got my lav mic on, but if I get closer to the PC, you should be able to hear those fans spinning in there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try and use the MSI Afterburner and the Reva Tuner. Um, we are gonna adjust the fan curves and hopefully make this thing a little bit quieter. Now the ideal situation is I'm gonna set it so that if the graphics card is below maybe 40 degrees, 45 degrees, that the fan is either running at its lowest setting or if possible, turn it off altogether. It shouldn't cause any problems because the graphics card's got its own built-in kind of temperature monitoring, so it will throttle the card back if necessary if it's getting too hot. But anyway, let's get the MSI Afterburn software loaded up and see what we can do. So we we'll go to the MSI site and download MSI Afterburner. Okay, so installing MSI Afterburner is a really simple, straightforward thing to do. Just download it, follow the instructions, and wait until it's finished doing its thing. Okay, so we've got a graphics card at the moment. It's running at 27 degrees. The fan speed says it's at 51%, which uh, we, could, we could probably lower that a little bit. So let's go into the settings cog. And we'll go into fan and enable user-defined software automatic control. And now we get the fan speed. So this is a setting which I'm gonna I'm gonna try dialing in and see if we can reduce this down a little bit. So if we say 40%, actually maybe yeah, about 34 degrees. Let's go try and go for some round numbers. So 30 degrees should be 40% fan speed. So anywhere in between 20 and 30 is going to jump up in that respect. So let's see, let's see what, that happen, what that does. So now our fan speed's gone down to the lowest it'll go, which looks like it's 40%, which is a shame. We'd like to get it to completely stop if possible, but it doesn't seem like it wants to. But let's see what the sound pressure meter is reading now. To me, it sounds a lot quieter already. I'm not sure if you can pick that up. In a very, very similar position, I think, possibly. We're jumping anywhere from sort of 35 to 40 odd decibels, which is actually much better. And the pitch of the system is actually much better as well. If I get closer to the machine again, there's definitely a change for the better. So. That's worked out really well. So I'm gonna try play with these fan speeds a little bit more. You never know, I may even be able to find a custom BIOS where I can actually disable the fan altogether at certain speeds. But for now, this has worked out brilliantly. So if you've got a graphics card, which is a little bit on the noisy side, and you'd like to tweak it a little bit, and maybe get it a little bit quieter, 
or alternatively you've got a graphics card and you want to overclock it and make your fan profiles so they ramp in a little bit quicker to keep things cooler. MSI Afterburner is definitely a good option to look at and see what you can get out of your card. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. This has been a quick look at the MSI Afterburner and Quattin Indyne, our GPU fan. Thanks for watching.